Good point. I don't think that I don't think the NATO al the European members of the alliance, uh, the Canada is, a, is maybe a somewhat different story, but the European members of the alliance uh, are don't generally. I, I think they're not willing to have it look as if somehow the remit of NATO is extending into the South China Sea. I think what what uh, Minister Espen Barthide and others are saying is though they recognize that the instability in the South China Sea or on the Korean Peninsula could have a huge impact uh, on global security and hence European interests. Uh, they have important trading interests in Ch with China, with other countries in the ASEAN region. So they need to be more aware of this, but I don't think they're yet thinking of engagement there. The British, the French to some extent, you know, partly because they've have, uh, had traditional engagement there. Uh, Germany has, you know, a lot of economic interests, but I, I don't think they, they're thinking at all, and, they're, and not, you know, not any recent uh, military presence there. Uh, they're not thinking in that direction, but what they are recognizing is is that they will probably need to do more along their periphery uh, in dealing with instability in the Middle East and dealing with, say, uh, you know, potential disruptions to the Persian uh, Persian Gulf or uh, along that uh, corridor of of you know, transit to their uh, to their homeland areas. Um, and so th I think they they are looking at this as a way to. Um, to how can they help the United States at a time when the U.S., which is clearly a Pacific power, uh, and engaged and concerned about that security, how can they help? Uh, but I think also th there is this recognition that a number of these countries, like Australia and, and South Korea, have helped in Afghanistan, uh, New Zealand in a smaller way. They've, they've helped uh, with uh, our problems, so to speak, and these global problems. So there is the potential still for working with some of them on some issues, but I don't see any uh, sense that, uh, you know, that you would imagine a NATO task force helping to somehow open up the Straits of Malacca or, uh, you know, uh, going into the South China Sea to, uh, to defend uh, you know, some U.S. ally in the Pacific that was, you know, under threat. I don't think that's what we're going to see, but we are going to see a, I think, a European uh, set of leaders who are more globally aware and more understanding of U.S. Uh, security concerns and 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 in uh, East Asia and how it can affect their security and their stability and, and prosperity as well.